build neat stuff. I got a great girl. And occasionally, save the world. So why can't I sleep? It, it was clear that in the Avengers, he was going to have something happen to him that was sort of startling. And we also knew there were aliens in it. So in terms of something that would not sit well with a sort of pragmatist like Tony Stark, who has to build a suit around himself, a shield of armor as opposed to having superpowers, well, we, we figured aliens would probably be a bit intimidating and outside his comfort zone. To a thunder god, aliens are everyone, you know, just another day of doing business, but to a regular human being, aliens would be an amazing big deal. Um, John Favreau even had a line that we ended up cutting from the movie where he talks about how in New York his grandmother fell out and broke her hip from a window because she saw a giant snake come out of the sky and now everyone's running around like nothing happened, you know. So it's a, it's a funny universe where you can have aliens and then also Iron Man 1 where he's just in a cave in Afghanistan. They don't seem like they fit but they're in the same universe and they kind of do. Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. Mr. Stark. Today is the first day of what's left of your life. We already know what makes us jump in seats and what makes us feel like the action is moving, but we know it because we all watch movies, but very few people stop to try and quantify what that is. Once you start to quantify those things, you, you know, you can apply them in smaller ways to bigger things. And the other great thing about making the leap that was so easy for me was that I was completely spoon-fed the visual effects side of this with Marvel. They've got such great people, animators, pre-visualists and, and uh, supervisors over there who would take me through the process of what's possible, you know, what's achievable and what isn't. And there isn't much that is not achievable, it turns out. It is fun, the idea of, of post-credit sequences. I, uh, I can imagine that they, you, you can write yourself into a box because now they're expected. So, you know, what happens when you just make a really good movie, but you don't have a post-credit sequence, now you have to come up with something. Especially in Marvel movies, they expect each one now to be the, represent like the tease for what the next phase will be or something.